It's a 40-year anniversary for a bridal shop in Southampton. To join in their celebration, they invited brides and staff through the years to join them. I went along to Portsdown to find out more. Brides of Southampton was started in 1976, opening on the 1st of October on Portsdown Road. It seemed to go off immediately. You know, most businesses, they take time to settle. This didn't. It, it just it exploded. It's what Southampton needed. And there was a recession on at the time, and money was very, very short. And I decided that I would hire wedding dresses because girls couldn't afford the proper price. And that went off very well. Then as things got better, we started to sell more. Then we stopped the hiring and just sold. And it just all went from there. And here we are, 40 years later, we're still going. And you've survived three recessions. John and I didn't take a wage for about three months. We just kept ploughing the money back in, back in, so that the business would keep going. And I think that's the only way you can do it. You have to suffer if you want to survive. One of Shirley's friends bought her dress from the shop in that first year. I can't remember too much about it. I just knew which dress I would like. I didn't want anything too fussy, just something plain. And it was there in the shop. They were very helpful. But they found them for me. There was, it was the fashion where they had the coats and the hoods. Jean's daughter Lucy married in 2009 and she also decided to look for her dress in the shop that her mum had used. I came here and tried on lots of dresses. My perfect dress was here um, and it's so friendly, the staff's so lovely um, and it's just perfect for me. Catherine left last year after 39 years of helping brides find the dress of their dreams. People were queuing outside the door to, to search out their perfect dress. There were very few shops in those days that actually specialised in the bridal wear. You normally found bridal departments within a large store. Um, and the fact that it was a family-run business, every um, customer was treated as part of the family. Catherine joined the bridal shop straight from school as a seamstress. I was good at needlework but never thought I'd get a job doing that kind of thing and just kind of fell into it really. So your role then, was, was it, what was it, altering ladies' dresses, getting them to fit perfectly? Yeah, measuring the ladies to start with to get the perfect size. Obviously nobody's a perfect shape these days, so little bits of alterations needed to be done. Powerboat racer Shelley Jory Lee grew up with the family business and there came a point when she took over and her mother bowed out. I didn't want to give up because I still loved it. But I felt I had to... Let her have her own strings. She had to find her own way. I mean, I trained her well, so she knew exactly what she was doing. And it seemed she just stepped in and that was it. She just went. And I think she's improved it since I've left. Obviously, there's more money and, you know, things, things are better. So, because at the beginning... In, in 1976, the fashions weren't that brilliant, um, and the fashions now are fantastic. They're beautiful, beautiful fabrics, uh, much better designers that we've got now than what we had years ago. This is a family-run business, and every staff that has been involved in the shop are treated as one of the family, and that's why I stayed so long, treating me as a daughter, really. still more or less the same but it's so much more modern now except the chandelier still there <laughs> this is shan robbins for that's solent